Have you ever wondered what are the top 22 best places to visit in India? Welcome to our virtual travel, where we'll be exploring the stunning diversity of India. This vibrant country offers an array of unique experiences, from its rich cultural heritage to breathtaking landscapes, bustling cities, and serene retreats. Each location on our list promises an unforgettable adventure that showcases the distinct beauty of India. So, let's embark on this exciting journey, beginning with our number 22 pick. Number 22, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, a tropical paradise in the Bay of Bengal. Far from the hustle and bustle of the cities, these islands lure you with the promise of pristine beaches, clear waters, and an untouched environment. Imagine a canvas painted with hues of blue and green, where the sky meets the sea, and the only sounds you hear are the whispers of the waves and the rustling palm leaves. The islands are a treasure trove of rich marine life, making it a haven for diving and snorkeling enthusiasts. Explore the depths of the sea and marvel at the colorful coral reefs, or simply relax on the white sandy beaches under the warm sun. The islands also hold historical significance as the infamous cellular jail stands as a silent reminder of India's freedom struggle. As we soak in the tranquility and natural beauty of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, we are reminded of the diverse landscapes India has to offer. At number 21 is the Rishikesh, known as the yoga capital of the world. This divine city, nestled amidst the mighty Himalayas, is a spiritual haven for many. It's here where the ancient practice of yoga harmoniously coexists with the modern world. You can start your day with a calming yoga session by the sacred Ganges River, as the sun rises over the misty mountains. The town is also famous for its suspension bridge, the iconic Lakshman Jula, and the evening Ganga Arti, a spiritual ritual that leaves everyone in awe. Rishikesh isn't just about spirituality and tranquility though, it's a paradise for adventure seekers too, offering thrilling activities like whitewater rafting, trekking, and camping. Leaving the spiritual tranquility of Rishikesh, we head west to the heart of the Thar Desert. At number 20, Jaisalmer, the golden city of Rajasthan. This city shines like gold under the sun thanks to its distinctive yellow sandstone architecture. The Jaisalmer Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands proudly at the city's heart, its golden walls and intricate carvings a testament to the skill of the city's craftsmen. Explore the narrow lanes within the fort, where life has remained virtually unchanged for centuries. The city also offers a glimpse into Rajasthan's royal heritage, with its stunning havelis, such as the Patwan Ki Havali, adorned with beautiful carvings and ornate decor. As the sun sets, the city takes on a magical glow, the golden sand dunes shimmering in the fading light. The Sam sand dunes just outside the city offer an unforgettable experience of desert life with camel rides, folk music, and traditional dances. From the spiritual haven of Rishikesh to the golden sands of Jaisalmer, this journey truly encapsulates the diverse beauty of India. At number 19, our journey takes us south to the ancient city of Hampi, Nestled amidst an outlandish landscape of boulders, banana plantations, and tranquil Tungabhadra River, Hampi is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a treasure trove of ancient ruins and temples. This city once served as the capital of the mighty Vijayanagara Empire. Today it stands as a silent but eloquent testament to the grandeur of a bygone era. The iconic stone chariot, a monolithic sculpture, is a spectacle of Hampi's architectural brilliance. The Virupaksha Temple is another must-visit spot. Its towering entrance gate or Gopuram reaching towards the sky is an awe-inspiring sight. Explore the royal enclosure where the rulers of Vijayanagara once held court. Here you'll find the Queen's Bath, a large rectangular pool surrounded by ornate balconies and arches. The ruins of Hampi are a history lover's paradise, with every stone whispering stories of valor, devotion, and the inevitable passage of time. As the sun sets, the ruins take on a golden hue, their silhouettes casting long shadows on the rocky terrain. Hampi, with its surreal boulders, ancient temples, and fascinating history, is a place that will transport you back in time. At number 18, we journey towards the Western Ghats, to the enchanting land of Koorg. Koorg, often referred to as the Scotland of India, Koorg, or Kodagu, is a paradise for nature enthusiasts and coffee lovers alike. The drive into Koorg is a sensory experience, with roads winding through lush green hills, misty landscapes, and sprawling coffee plantations. The air here is rich with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, a testament to the region's reputation as one of India's largest coffee producers. But Korg's charm isn't just about coffee. 
The region is home to the beautiful Abbey and Arupu waterfalls, cascading down the verdant slopes, a sight that is sure to leave you spellbound. The Dubare Elephant Camp is another must-visit spot where you can watch, feed, and even bathe the majestic Asiatic elephants. For the adventurous, Korg offers thrilling trekking trails, with the Tadiandamol Peak being the most popular amongst trekkers. And if you're a history buff, the ancient Omkareshwara Temple and the Madikeri Fort are a must-visit. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of red and orange, you can't help but fall in love with Korg's serene beauty. Remember to take a moment to sit back, sip on some locally brewed coffee, and soak in the tranquility of this hill station. At number 17, we travel to the royal city of Mysore, a place that impeccably blends India's rich history and vibrant culture. Mysore, or Misuru, is a city that exudes charm and grandeur, a testament to its royal past. Dominating the city's skyline is the magnificent Mysore Palace, an architectural marvel that's a blend of Hindu, Islamic, Gothic, and Rajput styles. As the sun sets, the palace is illuminated by nearly 100,000 bulbs, creating a spectacle that leaves one awestruck. But Mysore is not just about palaces. The city is a haven for silk lovers, with the Mysore silk sari being renowned worldwide for its quality and craftsmanship. As you stroll through the Devaraja Market, the city's bustling bazaar, you'll be greeted by the aroma of Mysore's famous sandalwood products and the sight of colorful stalls selling traditional sweets, spices, and handicrafts. Number 16. Amritsar, a city that resonates with spirituality and vibrant Punjabi culture. Amritsar, the cultural capital of Punjab, is home to the Golden Temple or Harmandir Sahib, one of the most revered spiritual sites of Sikhism. This majestic temple, adorned with gold, stands in the middle of a serene lake, radiating an aura of peace and tranquility. Pilgrims from all over the world come here to seek spiritual solace and partake in the langar, a community meal that serves thousands daily, regardless of religion or caste. Beyond the Golden Temple, Amritsar is a city that buzzes with life. The bustling streets of the city are a gastronomic paradise, offering a smorgasbord of Punjabi cuisine, from the butter-drenched Amritsari kulcha to the sweet delight of jalebi. As we stroll through the vibrant markets of Hall Bazaar and Guru Bazaar, we are greeted with a plethora of colors, sounds, and smells that epitomize the lively spirit of Punjab. From the spiritual heart of Punjab, we now head to the wettest place on earth. At number 15, Cherrapunji, nestled in the East Khasi Hills of Meghalaya, this place is a magical blend of heavy rainfall, mesmerizing waterfalls, and lush greenery. The moment you step into Cherrapunji, you are greeted with a fresh, earthy aroma, a cool breeze, and a misty landscape that looks straight out of a fantasy novel. The town holds the world record for the most rainfall in a calendar month and in a year, but there's much more to Cherrapunji than just rain. Its true beauty lies in its cascading waterfalls. The Nokalikai Falls, the tallest plunge waterfall in India, is a sight to behold. The water, falling from a height, disappears into a deep green pool, creating a captivating spectacle. Another must-visit spot is the Double Decker Living Root Bridge, a unique natural formation that showcases the ingenuity of Khasi tribes. These bridges, made from the tangled roots of ancient rubber trees, are a testament to man's harmony with nature. Cherrapunji is also known for its limestone caves, rich in stalagmites and stalactites, offering a thrilling exploration opportunity for adventure enthusiasts. At number 14, we venture into the heart of Maharashtra to witness the majestic Ajanta and Ellora Caves. These UNESCO World Heritage Sites are a marvel of ancient Indian architecture, art, and devotion. The Ajanta Caves, discovered by a British officer during a hunting expedition in the 19th century, are a series of 29 Buddhist cave temples, dating back to 2nd century BC. As we step into the dimly lit caves, the intricate paintings and sculptures narrating Buddha's teachings and life take us back in time, offering an intimate glimpse into the world of ancient Buddhist monastic life. Just a short drive away, the Ellora Caves greet us with their imposing structures. With 34 rock-cut temples dedicated to Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism, Ellora serves as a melting pot of these three major Indian religions. Next, at number 13, Hyderabad, the capital city of Telangana. Known for its rich history, culture, and the world-famous Hyderabadi Biryani, this city is a harmonious blend of traditional heritage and modernization. Our journey in Hyderabad begins with a visit to the iconic Sharminar, 
a monument that stands as a testament to the city's glorious past. A climb to the top offers a panoramic view of the bustling city. From there, we head to the grandiose Golconda Fort, an architectural marvel that echoes the stories of the bygone era. Next, we stop by a local eatery to relish the flavorsome Hyderabadi biryani, a dish that's a riot of flavors and a true delight for foodies. As the day ends, we take a leisurely stroll around Hussein Sagar Lake, the heart of the city, watching the sun set behind the towering Buddha statue in the middle of the lake. As we bid goodbye to Hyderabad, we take with us the taste of its biryani, the elegance of its pearls, and the essence of its rich history. Number 12 on our journey brings us to Kolkata, a city rich in literary, artistic, and revolutionary heritage. Known as the cultural capital of India, Kolkata is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. Here, history whispers through the streets and the vibrant art scene dances with the rhythm of modern life. Kolkata's cuisine is a sensory delight. From the spicy puchkas to the sweet, milky rosagullas, each bite tells a story of the city's diverse influences. It's not just the food that's inviting, the warmth of the people here will make you feel at home in no time. And how can we forget the legacy of Mother Teresa? Her spirit of compassion and selflessness continues to inspire the city, adding a touch of humanity that sets Kolkata apart. Leaving the cultural richness of Kolkata behind, we now travel to the city that never sleeps, Mumbai. Number 11. Mumbai, the financial and entertainment heartbeat of India. This vibrant city is a captivating blend of contrasts, where towering skyscrapers reach for the sky alongside historic colonial buildings. Mumbai is a city that never sleeps, always on the move, bustling with energy and life. It's a place where dreams come to fruition, a realm of endless possibilities. Mumbai's bazaars are a sensory delight, brimming with colors, sounds, and aromas. The street food here is legendary, offering a gastronomic adventure that's a feast for your taste buds. From spicy pani puri to sweet gulab jamun, every corner is an invitation to indulge. And then, standing tall against the city's skyline, there's the iconic Gateway of India. This majestic archway, overlooking the Arabian Sea, is a symbol of Mumbai's rich cultural heritage, a story etched in stone, a testament to the spirit of the city that's ever forward-moving, yet deeply rooted in its past. From the bustling streets of Mumbai, we move to the serene hills of Darjeeling. Number 10. Darjeeling, the heart of the majestic Himalayas, lies the breathtakingly beautiful Darjeeling. This hill station is a verdant oasis, celebrated for its sprawling tea gardens that paint the hills in a lush hue of green. The aroma of tea leaves wafting through the air is a sensory delight that Darjeeling is famous for. And then, there's the mesmerizing view of Kangchenjunga, the world's third highest mountain. It's a sight that can leave you spellbound, as the peak stands majestic against the clear blue sky its snow-capped top glistening in the sun. Adding a touch of whimsy to this idyllic setting is the British-era Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, lovingly referred to as the Toy Train. This charming little train chugs along the mountainous terrain, offering scenic vistas that are nothing short of a fairy tale. From the lush landscapes of Darjeeling, we journey to the austere beauty of Ladakh. Number 9. Welcome to Ladakh, where nature's artistry takes your breath away. This majestic region, nestled between the towering peaks of the Himalayas, is a symphony of contrasts. From cold desert plains that stretch into the horizon to azure lakes shimmering under the clear sky. But Ladakh is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a spiritual journey. A journey that takes you through the rich tapestry of Buddhist culture, deeply woven into the region's fabric. Here, monasteries perched on hilltops stand as silent sentinels their ancient walls echoing with the chants of monks, while vibrant festivals bring to life the region's folklore and traditions, painting a vivid tableau of color and rhythm. Ladakh, a place where the sky meets the earth, where spirituality meets natural beauty, and where every traveler finds a piece of themselves. Number eight on our list is Kashmir, a symphony of nature that captures the heart and soul. Often hailed as a paradise on earth, Kashmir's allure is undeniable. Picture this. Alpine meadows stretching as far as the eye can see, snow-capped peaks that touch the sky and crystal-clear lakes that mirror the heavens. Every vista is a painting, every moment a poem in this blessed region. But the charm of Kashmir doesn't end with its stunning landscapes. The region is a treasure trove of exquisite handicrafts, each piece a testament to the skill and artistry of its people. From intricate pashmina shawls to delicate papier-mâché ornaments, the artisans of Kashmir weave magic with their hands. And let's not forget the dried fruit, 
an array of nuts and dried fruits, each more delicious than the last, a way to tantalize your taste buds. Number seven on our list is Kerala, a serene escape into nature's lap. Kerala, a southern state of India, is a realm of tranquility, brimming with tranquil backwaters, aromatic spice plantations, and lush greenery that stretches as far as the eye can see. A houseboat journey across these peaceful backwaters offers a unique perspective on rural life, while the spice plantations, with their heady fragrance of cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg, awaken the senses. But Kerala is not just about natural beauty. It's also rich in unique culture and traditions. Take Kathakali, for instance, a vibrant dance drama that tells epic tales through expressive performances. Or Theyam, a ritualistic dance that's a living testament to Kerala's folklore. Each of these experiences adds a distinct flavor to Kerala's allure, making it a must-visit destination in India. Number six on our list is Goa, where Indian and Portuguese cultures blend against a backdrop of sun, sand, and sea. This vibrant destination is more than just a beach paradise. It's a melting pot of history and culture, flavored by the Portuguese heritage that mingles seamlessly with its Indian roots. Goa's sun-soaked beaches are a sight to behold, offering a perfect blend of tranquility and adventure. The azure waters are not just for swimming, they're a playground for water sports enthusiasts. From jet skiing to parasailing, there's an adventure waiting for every thrill seeker. Take a step back in time with Goa's historic churches, remnants of a colonial era that paint a picture of its past. And when the sun sets, the Goan nightlife comes alive. The rhythmic beats of music, the tantalizing aroma of Goan cuisine, and the vibrant energy of its people make Goa a celebration of life itself. From the sandy beaches of Goa, we journey to one of the oldest living cities in the world, Varanasi. My fifth owner list is Varanasi, a spiritual melting pot on the banks of the Ganges River. This ancient city, one of the oldest continually inhabited in the world, is a mesmerizing blend of spirituality, culture, and history. Its heart beats to the rhythm of countless rituals that take place every day, from the early morning bathing ceremonies to the evening arti, when thousands of lamps are set afloat on the river amidst chanting and music. Varanasi is a city of temples, each one a testament to the deep-rooted faith and devotion of the people. The ghats of Varanasi are where life and death coexist. These steps leading down to the Ganges River are the stage for countless rites of passage, from birth to the final journey. Number 4. Welcome to the Majesticity of Udaipur, a city that exudes regal charm. Often referred to as the City of Lakes, Udaipur is a sparkling jewel in the crown of Rajasthan. It's a city where time seems to stand still amidst the grandeur of palaces and forts, each boasting of an intriguing history and architectural splendor. The City Palace, a magnificent edifice that offers panoramic views of the city and its surroundings, is a must-visit. Overlooking the Pikula Lake, the palace complex is a stunning blend of medieval, European, and Chinese architecture. And speaking of lakes, the serene Lake Pikula, with its four islands, is a sight to behold, especially at sunset. Then there's the Lake Palace, seemingly floating on Lake Pikola, and the imposing Jag Mandir, a lovely island palace on the lake. These iconic landmarks offer a glimpse into the royal past and rich heritage of Udaipur. Leaving the royal charm of Udaipur behind, we now head to the pink city, Jaipur. Number 3. Immerse yourself in the allure of Jaipur, a city where history and culture blend to create a unique charm. Known as the Pink City, Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan, a state rich in royal heritage. The city is a treasure trove of iconic architectural landmarks, each narrating a tale of its glorious past. The Hawa Mahal, with its intricate latticework, stands as a testament to the architectural genius of yesteryears. The majestic Amur Fort, perched atop a hill, offers a panoramic view of the city that is truly awe-inspiring. But Jaipur isn't just about grandeur and history. Its bustling bazaars are a riot of colors, teeming with traditional Rajasthani jewelry, fabrics, and handicrafts. The city's vibrant atmosphere is further accentuated by its lively festivals, where the rich Rajasthani culture is on full display. Number two on our list brings us to Agra, a city that houses the symbol of eternal love, the Taj Mahal. As we step into Agra, we are stepping into the pages of Mughal history. This city, once the capital of the Mughal Empire, is a treasure trove of architectural marvels. One cannot talk about Agra without mentioning the Taj Mahal, a white marble mausoleum that stands as a testament to love and loss. But Agra has more to offer than just the Taj. 
The Agra Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a majestic fortress of red sandstone, housing several exquisite structures like the Jahangir Palace and the Pearl Mosque. And then there's Fatapur Sikri, another World Heritage Site, which was once the capital of the Mughal Empire. It's an entire city of red sandstone, with buildings that showcase the brilliance of Mughal architecture. From the historic city of Agra, we now journey to our final destination, the capital city Delhi. Number 1. Delhi, a tapestry of diverse cultures, ancient history, and modernity. This capital city of India is a captivating blend of the old and the new, a perfect balance between age-old traditions and contemporary urban development. Standing tall and proud, the historic Red Fort and Qutub Minar tell tales of Delhi's rich history, while the bustling streets of Chandni Chowk immerse you in a sensory overload of sights, sounds, and flavors. No visit to Delhi is complete without sampling its street food, a delicious testament to the city's culinary heritage. From the intricate architecture of Humayun's tomb to the tranquility of Lodi Gardens, Delhi's charm lies in its versatility. It's a city where every corner holds a story, every monument a piece of history, and every street a gastronomic delight. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more travel guides and insights into the world's most beautiful destinations. Until next time, safe travels.